I just wanted to let you know that yes, it's a bonnet. Yes, it's a nightgown. That's because I was on my way to sleep. And the Lord has a way whew, of getting your attention. He will tap you on the shoulder. You try to turn over and say, I do it in the morning. Then you realize I told him that yesterday. Okay, so that's not going to work. And then you looking around and you feel like he waiting on you. And you just can't go to sleep. So you might as well get up and do what he told you to do. So that's why I'm bringing these words tonight. And I'm just going ahead and I'm unleashing them. You know, I'm letting them go. I can't just keep holding them. And I have to just let them go. But this one right here is a real quick one. Okay. This happened today. And I'm going to tell you something. The Lord, he be talking. But he talks in different ways. He can speak in different ways. Sometimes he speaks to me through movies. And sometimes he speaks to me through songs. Sometimes he gets my attention when I'm strolling on my phone and he says, slow down, look at that, or slow down, push, click, click on that. And I'm like, on this? Like, yeah, click on that. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so that's exactly what happened actually today. So I was just chilling in the presence of the Lord um, upon my bed. And I was kind of resting, in and out of rest today, in and out of warfare and, and rest. But anyway, um, yeah, so as I was strolling down, so the Lord brought me to this lady. And she's an older lady, Caucasian lady. And she was just talking about sustaining her life, you know, in a more affordable way you know, naturally, as opposed to being billed for things that she don't have to be billed for. If she could find a way to come out of that, you know, system, a, a way of doing things that that would be better for her. So actually her topic was about rainwater and she has a cistern and stuff like that. So she's talking about that, which I live in a city area and pretty much that's never really been an issue to me because I always kind of been like a city person, you know. Um, anyway, um, I found it interesting because I, I always felt like if the water system ever failed for some reason, we may need an alternative way of, you know, getting and receiving water or conserving water or how we going to use water or whatever. But anyway, she was talking about rainwater. So I was like, okay, Lord, but her video looks like it's going to be long. But anyway, so, and I don't want to make mine long because actually it's a short issue. So anyway, so the lady was talking about how she had been having some issues with her um, sister and system. It had a hole in it. She said the first time something or someone had poked a hole in it. Then she said um, she got that fixed. Then she said um, the next time she got it fixed, the cement was leaking. So they told her, well, if you, um, anytime you're going to use cement, you need to have a liner inside of it because cement is going to leak. The water is going to leak through the cement. So that time they, they said that the water was contaminated. Okay. So the water was contaminated. They found six, remember, hit that number six, found six mice in her cistern system at the bottom of the system. So supposedly it was the mice that were contaminating the system, okay? So the lady still went ahead and got it fixed another time. I think that was probably like the third 
time. This time she was she got a liner. And I don't I can't remember what she said happened another time, but whatever happened, the people that came out and serviced it this time, they told her that according to the test that they ran, they found E. coli in her rainwater. E. coli, yeah. So the people were pretty sure that the E. coli is coming from the rain. <laughs> so if you've been getting sick, these people that's been talking about strep throat and all this stuff, the, 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 a cold and, and all this stuff, yeah, yeah, it's probably likely so. Because on those days when it's rainy and those days, yeah, it, it comes through the rain. E. coli is coming from the second heaven, uh, which that's the heaven under the holy heaven. And, you know, uh, the men told her that it was a time when the rainwater was pure. So now these are the last days and the rainwater is not pure. Okay. The rainwater is contaminated with E. coli. Just to let you know, be warned, be warned. And um, other thing is these fruits and vegetables just don't look like they real or something. I don't know. Plus, remember I told you, I don't know if you, you seen my video about the dream that I had about the meat is not meat. So I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> Make some tea, drink some coffee. I don't know what to say. What what we gonna do? Intermittent fasting? I I don't know, but it looks like it's 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 it's, it's, it's the last days, guys. I'm just just be honest. That's what's happening. It's the last days, and and we can't you know look away any longer. We can't look away any longer. It is the last days. And I pray that we all be ready. I pray that we all stay on the ready because we know not the time, the day, or the hour when the Lord shall return. Um, We don't know how many more shenanigans uh, this world system is going to send down the pike. We don't know. We don't know how much more, you know, is going to happen before the Lord comes back. But I will say this. Uh, pray without ceasing. Pray over your food. Pray over your water. Pray over your clothes, your lotion, your deodorants, soaps, whatever. Pray over your home, your dwelling. Plead the blood of Jesus over your doorposts. Uh, plead the blood of Jesus over everything concerning you. And I'm not saying this to put anybody in fear. Because God has not given us a spirit of fear. He gave us love, power, and a sound mind. So keep your mind sound. Keep love in your heart. With wisdom, of course. And remember that God has power and he has also given us power. Okay. So. And um, I just want people to be. You know, informed. Of what the Holy Spirit showed me. And also that lady was under attack. See, somebody don't want her to sustain herself naturally. Somebody trying to stop her from doing it but see what they did in there and th by them attacking her back to back to back it really exposed them because they ended up showing that yeah it showed where the attacks coming from and it showed that it is an attack and it also showed that all these people that's been talking about being sick lately and matter of fact let me say this this video is being sent out december the 6th December the 7th, 2022. 
So if you've been sick around this time last week or the week prior, it might be because, <laughs> guess what? The rain is not even pure. Okay. So pray. Continue to pray. Add faith to your prayer. Because without faith, it's impossible to please God. And just watch as well as pray. Stay focused on the right things. And wait on the Lord and do good. Yeah. Hope everybody is well. And when you find this, you know, it's just informative information. You can take it or leave it. As with any other information, you could take it or leave it. Um, but yeah, I'm just showing you what I was led to and what I stumbled across today. And this lady, she wasn't talking about anything religious. She was just a regular, like a homestead. Like I, I wouldn't even call her a homesteader, but she just a regular person trying to sustain herself naturally um, using less. She wasn't talking about, so I don't want to say that she prompted the conversation because of religion. I'm telling you what the Holy Spirit showed me. I'm telling you. Okay. So. Remain blessed and prosperous, successful. Stay focused. And anybody that's not born again, have not received the true salvation of Yeshua. Lord Jesus Christ, you can go to John 3.16, read that passage of scripture, receive it in your heart, and be baptized. Yes, the gift of salvation is free, but you still have to do some work because to whom much is given, much is required. Okay? So receive this word with gladness and remain blessed. See you on the next one.